Let me ask you about uh, that, that Georgia defense. They seem very aggressive. Do you guys have to be aware of the blitzers off the edge? Is, is that something they like to bring a lot of pressure? Yeah, I mean, they're they're an active front. I mean, they, they get after it. They're two good inside players. They're extremely solid. The two ends have uh, speed, quickness. Um, you know, the counter off the moves are really well coached. Um, and, you know, they keep getting better each game, young. And, uh, you know, we got to uh, be clicking on all cylinders, communicating is of the utmost and uh, our technique and effort has got to be an all-time high. Lions only given up four sacks. Is it where you want it to be right now or do you think that they still have to go a ways for improvement? We still have a ways to go. You know, uh, a lot goes into sacks uh, in terms of numbers where people get excited and say, well, it's this many or uh, or sometimes it's, it's, it's maybe on the other end of it where it's too many. And the thing I keep harping about is hits on quarterback. And, and you know, we want to leave a game where the quarterback is, is not hit. We can't allow him to get hit. He needs to be able to set his feet and make the throws. And um, a lot's put on him if he makes a wrong throw or a poor throw where really we were the ones that may have caused it and we can't allow that to happen. So we got we got to get better at that. we got to get better at some things technically. Uh, again, communication. Um, and, um, you know, so that's something that's, you know, we're continuing to work at. As, as you've looked at Georgia's defense, I know that I think it's either seven or eight guys they had to replace from last season. And look at the, the rushing numbers, and they've just gone down a lot in the past two weeks. Is that maybe typical for a team that's got a lot of new guys that takes a couple of games to really kind of get going? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's 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 any time that there's some guys that are replacing, some guys that have left that are, are, are stepping into – roles where they have to uh, maybe from classification mature a lot faster than maybe they're really ready to but again you know they're a really well coached team and, and you know you see the guys that we've been studying from one that are getting better and improving and that type of stuff and playing you know team defense together and, and you know occasionally a, a play happens here or there against you know some of the opponents that they've played where you know LSU and the South Carolinas and Clemson's and you know some opponents where there's you know, the skill, skill level is extremely high, and, and, and as I say, you got to be right. you got to be right up front, uh, and you got to be right on the defensive end as well to stop people. So, uh, you know, it's just each week the talent level gets better and better for who we face, and, you know, we got to be playing and, and clicking on all cylinders. I know they've got a lot of guys on that side of the ball that are some pretty darn good athletes, but that Fowler guy especially seems to be, I mean, I think he's played almost some nickel for him, and then he comes off the edge and rushes the passer, and that size and speed, he looks like a pretty dynamic player. He, he is, and he's again, he's young. I mean, he's a young guy that is extremely athletic. He's got tremendous burst. Um, he can drop into coverage. He can rush the passer. He can change direction. He's, uh, you know, plays in their in, in their in their twist game up front. Uh, he can do a lot of things for being young, and uh, he sure plays a lot older than what his classification is. He's going to be an absolutely fantastic player in this league. No, no, no. You talked about wanting to see better out of your guys in terms of protecting the passer, but. Have you seen their, their chemistry is what makes them good in terms of protecting the pass of your guys, just like how they've been doing this together for so long? Yeah, they, you know, um, it's interesting because, you know, I know obviously of the success that they've had in regards to that, you know, last year and all that. And I've, I've never been around a bunch that takes so much pride in that. Now, the thing that's interesting, though, is, and, it, and it's nice to see is how much pride they're taking in running the football. So that's the part and that's the mindset that we're really working to uh, uh, create or, you know, I should not even say create because they want to run the ball, but I'd say grow upon. So it's something that they're priding themselves in with being able to run the ball and that, and that type of thing. But pass protection is extremely important to them and, and, and the numbers they're well aware of from a pride standpoint. But like I said, it's the hits on the quarterback that we can't allow. And it's, and it's collectively. It's, it's, all of us, it's the, the backs and tight ends, and we all work together. In that. And that's something that we all pride ourselves on. So, you know, we'll continue to work at it. Coach, when you roll against a team that's a three, like it doesn't just dabble in three, four, but that's, you know, their identity, are they more prone to be able to, you know, create confusion in that front seven by moving guys around and having, you know, some of those hybrid types? Is that, yeah. I mean, I guess just, you know, pre snap looks, is it something you worry a little more about this week? You know what? It's it, it, it's a great question because it's as much as it is that, it's, it's, it's the alignments um, that are something that is different for what guys see on a regular basis up front. You know, you see four down front, you see guard covered, center, you know, maybe uncovered, the combinations. And a lot of the, some of the things that you do over and over are sometimes not what you are always working. You know, when you play that, like you're saying. Changes your keys. Changes, yeah, changes, you know, in terms of, you know, the footwork, the, the maybe 
calls, whatever it may be. So it is a different deal, but it's something also for us that we were having an opportunity, having played Oregon, having played Florida, where we've seen some of it. So it's not like it's a new week of that. It's it's really going back and fixing and working to correct some of the mistakes that have occurred in those two games for what we may see this week. How 